As we begin with heavy hearts this great and holy week and accompany Jesus in his terrible suffering and death, it is good to reflect briefly on just one little moment in the Passion account that we just heard. And the moment I refer to happened when Jesus, after Peter had denied him the third time, Jesus looked at Peter. Jesus looked at Peter. Now, we're all familiar with the kind of a look that mothers and dads can give their sons and daughters when a problem was just caused at home. You know, when little Johnny has sprinkled as much of the house as he could cover with talcum powder before mom or dad even realized what he was doing. And when little Johnny does that, there are words for that, but there's also a look. And the look, without any words, tells Johnny how much trouble he is in. When I was teaching college, I had a certain look that I would give to students who clearly hadn't done their homework and therefore would say something that was ridiculous because they had no idea. When they would do that, I would go, They never laughed because they, were, they knew that they were about to be profoundly embarrassed in front of the rest of the class. They didn't know what I would say, but they knew that they were under the threat of heavy embarrassment. What were the sorts of things that I would say in those circumstances? I would say, where did you, on second thought, forget that? Did you go to high school? (laughs) That glance is a story all to itself. And many of you know Father Z, our beloved Father Z, But when people make mistakes at the solemn liturgy in Latin, Father Z has a glance that could well turn someone into a pillar of salt. That was the kind of a glance that Jesus gave Peter. And that's why Peter received the glance, the cock crowed, and Peter went out and wept bitterly. But the good thing is about this, that Peter did not miss Jesus giving him the glance. He didn't miss it. And this contains a message for us at the beginning of Holy Week, which is the greatest but also the most prayerful of weeks. We have to give ourselves to quiet prayer simply in order to check out the glance of Jesus. Another word for the glance of Jesus 
is conscience. When Peter got that glance of Jesus, he saw how wrong he was. And then he did the right thing. He went out and wept bitterly. Our world doesn't take sin very seriously. Even many Catholics do not take sin seriously, meaning they have never received that glance from Jesus that Peter received, and that really was Peter's salvation because he went out and repented. He went out and he wept bitterly. In addition to coming to church here and bringing friends for the beautiful Holy Week services, especially for the Great Easter Vigil on Saturday night, come and bring friends. In addition to that, let's make sure that there is time during Holy Week for prayer. There is time so that we don't miss that glance that Jesus gave Peter if he's giving us that glance. The only one exempt from that glance was Jesus' mother. Peter was the rock upon whom Jesus built the church, and Peter was not exempt from that glance. So no one else should expect to be. But it's very easy to miss it. That's why entering more deeply into prayer during Holy Week is so important Because in a way, the most important thing that can happen to us during Lent is that we see that glance that Jesus gave Peter directed toward us. And then we repent, we weep bitterly. And then we go to confession and then we're saved. Praise be Jesus Christ.